Hey guys, it's me, the Blind Vegan. I actually run a chronic pain support group here in Chicago. In fact, it's the only chronic pain support group here in Chicago. And I thought this weekend I'd bring some treats. So I thought I'd start off making banana muffins. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. You know, one thing in it comes down to with videos like this where somebody's cooking and giving you a recipe is a lot of time they just speak it. It's nowhere to be found in the comments or on the video or or you have to go to their website to get it. Well I'm not gonna do it. Right now I'm gonna post a picture of the ingredients and the amounts and the recipe will be listed below in the comments. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to start with my dry ingredients first. I've got my flour right here. And it's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Got one teaspoon of baking powder. And just a pinch of some salt. I'll give it a bit of a mix. Put that aside. Get rid of the flour. So I'm not knocking it over. And then I'm going to go for my wet ingredients. And those I'm going to put right into my mixer. Just got to plug it in. Excuse me, this is not always very easy. Let's see if I can do this without shocking myself. There we go. And I have to tell you, I got my mixer at a resale shop. I paid $60 for it. All it needed were the uh, bushings to be replaced, which I paid $10 for that. So these things are really nice. So I've got my bananas. Um, I've got three bananas. And I'm going to partially mash them using a fork just on the plate that they're on. If I can find a fork. So I've got them on a plate and I'm just going to give them a bit of a mix. You know, just mush them up a little bit. This is three, I don't know, kind of medium-ish bananas. And once they're mashed, I'm going to pop them in here. That gets...
that gets one cup of, I'm using unflavored cashew milk. And yes, I use my finger once I feel it get to the top. I got it. And as a wet ingredient also, I am going to add about three quarters of a cup of sugar. And I know this is the wet ingredients, but trust me, you really want the sugar to be properly incorporated, which is why so many recipes talk about creaming it in the fat and the oil. Yeah, so about three quarters of a cup. Get rid of this. taking my egg replacer. You want the equivalence of two eggs, which means four tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of the egg replacer. And that's pretty universal in most of these prepared ones. This just happens to be the one that I actually prefer. I get it on Amazon Prime. So I've got one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. And I can put this aside where it won't get knocked over. Now, one thing I find to be a lot easier when it comes to adding water to it is I put water in a cup first, and then I just use my tablespoon to scoop it out. I just do it right next to it to make sure I'm getting it. So we've got one. Two, three, and four. I'll put that aside where it won't drop or break it. Now, taking my whisk, and I'll give that a little whisk and kind of let it set up, get ready, you know? It really needs to hydrate properly. Put that aside because the next thing to go into the wet ingredients is my vanilla extract. And I'm going to use a full teaspoon. And now my measure spoons, they never come off this because they're in order. We've got tablespoon, half tablespoon, teaspoon. And I will very carefully pour it over the counter using my finger to know where it's at and I can feel it at my fingers so that's one table teaspoon in fact I think for this because I've, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half so same thing over the counter so I don't put too much in the batter and I hear I just spilled some but add that to the bowl no point in crying. I'll just grab a rag here and try and clean up as I go along. But I can put this away so I don't put it in the wrong spot. This way I can absolutely find it. That's key to what I do. I don't need the salt anymore. I'm going to put that away. Now, the only other thing to this is, what am I forgetting? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I've got to add some oil. And it's going to be, oh, shit, but how much? Now I'm trying to remember my recipe. Oh, crap. Um, shit, I don't 
remember. My bananas, a cup of water, half a cup of oil. Here we go. So my cups, same thing. They never come off the screen. One cup, three quarters of a cup, half of a cup. And here's my oil. Same thing, I do it over the counter, so I don't add too much oil, but I'm going to try and do it over this plate. And once I feel the oil with my finger, not quite there, perfect, I just feel it touching my fingers, so I add this in. Now, we are ready to lock this down, give it a good mix. You really want to incorporate everything really nice into it. And this is going to take a few minutes, so instead of making you guys stress over this, I'll be back in just a minute. Here's my two pans. I just have some basic cooking spray. And I'm just going to give it, I can find the point of the nozzle, and just give it a little spray. Same thing with this one. And then I've got a fine mesh strainer. Get it in my flour. And I know there's going to be a mess, but it's a process. You've got to do it. For a fact, I got oil and everything all over the place. So what I do is I just go around and try and get rid of as much as I can. And since I'm only letting it go on top, I'm not getting it in. So. I've got one of these small scoops. I actually got this from GFS. Um, they're very inexpensive, but they're worth having. Now, since my bowl is locked in, I am not going to unlock it. But I'm going to take a scoop, find the hole, and put it in there. And I'll just go down. It's just, you know, take your time and find each one. You ain't got to be able to see it to get it in there. And, like, I could feel the excess on there. And I will clean that up. This should be enough batter. Uh, the smell in here is amazing. I could smell the bananas. And there's a secret to those bananas. If they're not ripe actually bruised the hell out of them the night before by morning they mush a lot easier a great smell oh i'm lucky i even got that one in there shit sorry i gotta stop talking and pay attention and i'm sorry but there's no non-messy way Let's see if i got it for me to do this so i know my hands are a mess pull that one aside Find my first one. And then I'll check the levels 
anything that's too wonderful. I'll add a little bit more. I don't know. Let's see. Great one. There we go. And I'm just moving from one to the other. Once I get to my finger, I know I can turn it over. I'm going to get rid of the spatula. Throw it in the sink. Because I think I'm getting a little... Oh, I should have enough for all of these. Unless I've really wasted a lot of it. These might be a little on the light side. Yeah, there's not much. I could feel it just scraping. I want to try and get something in each one. Let's see if I can just twirl that in there. Try. Let's see. Oh, that's barely enough. That's going to be a little. I just felt some go flying. Trying to get a little more in that last one. There we go. Grab my rag. Because my hands are messy. Now, a little bit ago I put my oven on 400 degrees. I hate using so many paper towels, but you know, I try and get ones made from all we you know, recycled material. So, I mean, I try. And just keep going around. Keep that as clean as possible. Let's see if I can't get this one. This pan feels a little on the light side. I know my pans. And just go around and around. And this will actually help me keep them a lot cleaner. This is where I should Skype with my daughter if it wasn't like four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so that's how I fill my pans. That's how I get this set up. I'll be back in a few minutes. Once the oven's ready, I'm gonna stick this hey in. guys, I'm back. The muffins are ready to go into the oven, so I figured let's go ahead and pop them in. Excuse me one second. I hope you guys can actually see the oven. Now, I do have oven mitts that go up to my shoulders, but I find sometimes they cause me more problems than not. not. So, just get that in at the edge. Find my other tray, pop this one in, keep it on the other side. Hey guys, they've been baking about 12 minutes. I can smell them, so I'm going to very quickly pull one tray out. Carefully as I can, put it on top, and I'm just taking one because I've got some toothpicks. My pot holder. Try and find one. Here we go. Nice and dry. Perfect. So I am going to move this tray over and get that other one ow, 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 ow. hot. Oh. So here they are for now. Hope you guys can see them. My square ones. The round ones. And I think I'm going to make a bit of glaze to go on these, but they need to cool down for a few minutes so I can get them out of the pan and on a cooling rack. So once they're ready, I'll be back. Well, I'm back. They're on the cooling rack, but I thought I'd make like a very basic glaze 
And I hope you guys know how to make one. It's actually fairly easy. Uh, let's see, get these in the right order. So we got tablespoon, half teaspoon, half teaspoon. I'm actually gonna start with a half teaspoon of vanilla extract in a small bowl. And of course, trying to be careful not to waste because this shit's expensive. Better put that lid back on there. And I think I should wipe this off so I don't get it all in my powdered sugar. And of course, the other part is powdered sugar. And for that, I know I'm not going to use all of it, but I will start with um, about two tablespoons. Two. Get this put aside so I don't knock this over. Now I am going to use some unsweetened, unflavored cashew milk. But this is where the measurements are kind of on the iffy side because it really depends on how thin you want it. You know, I want something that's not going to be heavy, that I can drizzle across them, and most of it kind of fall off. So, I am going to start with quite a bit of my nut milk. I'm going to go with a tablespoon. And I should pour this into a bowl and do it that way, but... So, we'll go with a tablespoon. Find my whisk. And just give it a good blend. That's all it really is. A basic glaze is nothing more than like a milk or milk alternative. Powdered sugar, because powdered sugar actually has cornstarch in there. And just enough liquid to a consistency that you like. And that, sounds, that seems nice. See? Oh, perfect. Let's find the lid for my nut milk. And I literally cannot find it, so I'm gonna stick this in the fridge before I wind up knocking this all over my floor. Put that in there, get rid of that. Pull this closer, and I found my lid. Okay. Now I'm going to try and give you guys a better view of how I'm doing this. So, hopefully that'll show you. And it's really just, once I feel it pouring... I just go back and forth, ensuring that they all get even just a little bit, because I don't want to add a lot. I really don't. Put that in the sink, and there we go. Banana muffins, aka tiny little banana breads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and ring that little bell so that you do get notification. Until then, remember, if I can do this, so can you. Stop telling yourself no. Not just with cooking, but anything in life. Half the time, the only thing that stops us is us. I love you guys.